Hey guys, I've just hit 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> now, in this video, I wanna look back and talk about what it took me to get here and why I'm still not monetized. Let's go. First of all, if you are one of those 1,000 people who have been following my journey here on YouTube, thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here. And also thank you so much for sticking around because I know I haven't really been consistent with my uploads. I reached the 1,000 subscriber milestone on March 10, 2022, which is exactly 665 days after uploading my very first video to YouTube. Now, I'm not really looking at that date as my benchmark because I only made the commitment to take YouTube seriously at the start of 2021. And from then, it's been 433 days or one year, two months and three days. When I started uploading weekly at the start of 2021, I wanted to get to the 1000 subscriber mark within 12 months, which didn't happen. But there are a couple of reasons for that because I was less consistent from April last year. So I only really managed to do weekly videos for four months. And then I also had a break of, I think, probably five weeks where I didn't upload anything. Since then, I haven't really been able to get back into a weekly schedule, but I have been more consistent. However, I'm kind of tracking well, I think, because what I learned from Ali Abdal's part-time YouTuber Academy, I made a video about that recently, link up here, is that the average channel between 1,000 and 10,000 subscribers has 152 videos on their channel. And when I hit 1,000, I had 63 videos. So not bad. Sometimes it can just feel like such a drag and looking at these numbers helps me keep going. Okay, what have I learned from my YouTube journey so far? Or what would I tell my 2021 self who was at the start of his journey with 35 subscribers? Number one, consistency is what it's all about. I would tell my younger self to just stop overthinking everything because I would overthink the branding, the video topics, the niche, but ultimately it's just about consistently posting videos and the rest will develop over time. Number two, don't stress and enjoy the journey. Obviously I'm doing YouTube as a part-time thing, so I am not relying on it to grow to a level where it can pay my bills, so I don't really have that pressure. And with that, I can enjoy the journey and not, you know, overthink everything. Number three, keep an ideas list. It was such a struggle in the beginning, finding a topic for the weekly videos. And as soon as I started writing down all the ideas that I had in the most random moments, I now have, I think like a list of a hundred video ideas that I can go to, scroll through, pick one and start creating. Or sometimes I don't create any of those, but it helps me come up with another idea that I then start working on. So an ideas list is really important if you want to do it consistently. I have made a video about my ideas list and how I capture ideas when they come to me. So I'll link it up here in case you want to check that out. You also cannot predict which videos will work out and which won't. I have videos on my channel that I thought would do really well, but they flopped entirely. And other videos that I thought were dead all of a sudden started getting views and started growing. So you never really know. You can really only give it your best shot and try to create the best videos with the best titles and thumbnails and then just hope for the best. Obviously you can be a little bit technical about it and there are certain parameters that you should follow, but ultimately it's up to the YouTube gods if they will pick up your video or not and what is trending in that particular moment in time. Another lesson that I learned and that I would give myself is to find the right balance between videos targeting search and videos targeting browse. 
What I mean by that, and that's something that I also learned in Ali Abdal's YouTube course, is videos targeting brows have the potential of going viral and finding a viewership really, really quickly if the title and thumbnails are appealing, but usually they spike, but then they fizzle out really quickly. Videos targeting search, on the other hand, they might not get a lot of views in the beginning, so they might not be as exciting, but they have often a longer shelf life and they can bring new viewers to your channel for months or even years to come. I have some videos that have only started growing a few months, six months, eight months after I posted them and they now bring in views consistently. So you wanna make sure that you have videos on your channel that have this kind of evergreen content that has a longer shelf life. That could be a tutorial about a software that you use or a listicle about how to get better at something or you talk about something that applies for a long time and doesn't really change much. Okay, so why am I not monetized yet? The criteria to get monetized on YouTube and to join the YouTube Partner Program, which allows you to put ads on your videos and get money through AdSense is 1,000 subscribers, tick, and 4,000 watch hours in the last 12 months. As you know, I do have the 1,000 subscribers. However, I don't have the 4,000 hours watch time yet. I probably do have 4,000 hours of watch time in total, but not in the last 12 months. And I feel like I'm currently chasing my tail because last year, around this time, I had a video that did really, really well and I got a lot of watch time and I'm losing that every day now. So I'm losing the watch time from a year ago and I'm gaining new watch time, but it's kind of stagnant on the same level at the moment. So it's probably gonna take another couple of months before I get there or another video that goes through the roof, maybe it's this one, before I start earning that sweet, sweet YouTube money, <laughs> which will probably only be like a couple of cents or a dollar per day in the beginning. I call it gear money because wouldn't it be great to have money coming in that then could go into lenses and cameras and lights and background YouTube set stuff and shiny, beautiful things. Okay, so where to from here? I think I'm just gonna keep creating, keep making videos and gradually getting better at it. And I wanna connect to other creators and you guys along the way and you know, trust that it will just grow steadily and maybe turn into something. I do wanna dial in my channel direction a little bit more and figure out my niche because I'm constantly in a niche crisis and then also update my branding because it hasn't been updated since I dropped the lazy creator name and brand. And I do wanna go weekly again. That would be great. It's probably not really likely for the next little while, but let's see, I will try my best. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. If you want to see one of those videos that I thought would blow up or at least do really well, but then ended up flopping, I'll link it up here. Okay, that's it, 1000. Thanks so much for watching. Give the video a like and subscribe. If you want to stick around, I would love that. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.